So what is the essence of a super shrink in therapy? Well, what it really seems to boil down to, and here I'm channeling Scott Miller in particular, is that the super shrinks make a lot of room for negative feedback. They do a type of checking in with the client that encourages the client to say, you know, I'd rather be talking about issue X or what would really be helpful is focusing on topic Y because I think we've been either wasting our time or not using the time well. Or the feedback might be, you know, I feel like you're not giving me enough direct feedback. I personally get that complaint all the time from clients of other therapists. I'll ask them, what did you like about therapy? What did you dislike about your former therapist? And they'll say, the person just listened to me. They didn't give me enough feedback. So that tells me, okay, the client's idea of therapy includes feedback. So I should give feedback. But the super shrinks create this environment where that can happen. And because they do that, and because they're willing to be wrong and to readjust and to listen, they retain clients longer, which is the biggest risk factor for poor outcomes and lack of improvement is early dropout.